In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start a new project and import video footage into your project so you can get started editing your video files. The first thing to do is open Premiere Pro. When you open Premiere Pro, you'll see this splash screen. It will show you some of the recent projects you may have open, and it'll also give you the option to create a new project in Premiere Pro or open an existing project. A simple way to import video into your project is navigate to where your video files are. Once you navigate to your video files, you can hover over them to see which ones contain what video. You can click these check marks in these boxes and you'll see them arranged down at the bottom. You can then choose to copy this media if it happens to be in a different location than where your video project is, and you can have it be put into a new bin or folder. You can also make it create a new sequence for you automatically. In this particular case, I have the media in the folder where my project is. I will have it make a new bin, and I'll leave the name of the sequence as sequence one. Another option that you have for importing video files is to have automatic transcription. This is really great if you have a documentary or video with lots of dialogue. You can either choose your language or you can use enable language auto detection. You can also have label separate speakers. And then your choices for audio transcription are transcribe only the clips in the sequence or all the imported clips. Then once you click create, it will go ahead and create a new bin and a new sequence. And notice that we have everything already in our timeline. This is a streamlined process of importing video if you already kind of know what you want to import. I will also show you how to manually import video into a new Premiere Pro project. Navigate to where you have a folder for your video project. This folder should have all your video files. So here I have a folder called Video Project. I'll double click this folder and you can see that I have various video files inside this. This is the best place to save. Premiere will ask, where do you want to save the project? It's important to select the project location up here. You want to put the project in the folder where you have all your video files so all the media stays connected. I'll double click inside this folder where I have my media files, and then I'll give this project name. I'll call it Premiere Import Video, and then I'll click Create. Once you've created a project, you'll see the name of the project at the very top. The very first time you open Premiere, your workspace will be the Learn Workspace, which looks like this. This is a nice workspace because it gives you tutorials on the left, so you can search for different things you want to learn how to do. But once you start using Premiere, you're going to want to use the screen real estate on the left. So to change that, go to Window Workspaces and then select Editing or Assembly. Editing is a good default workspace. You can always change these workspaces and customize them. How do I import video files into Premiere? If you look at the bottom left, you'll see Import Media to Start. I could double click here and then I could navigate to my video project. Then I could select these files and click Import. Now all the files are down here in the project window. I'm going to go ahead and press the trash can to delete these files. I'll show you another way to import media. I can go to the file menu and then click import. This is the same action as double clicking in the project window on the lower left, but it can be easier to remember since it's just file import. Once again, I'll go ahead and select all the video files and click import. Now the video files are on the left. I could just drag all of the files over into the right hand timeline now I can scrub through the video and see what's going on. We will cover ways that we can set the in and out points and arrange our video, but this will get you started so you can just have everything in a Premiere project with video imported, all contained in a single folder so you don't lose any of your media assets.